so today we are going to do the reaction of vinegar with baking soda this is baking soda here okay so we are going to perform this experiment now so i have already added vinegar in this bottle as you all can see this is a glass bottle that i have taken you all can take a plastic bottle also instead of a glass bottle and uh, now with the help of this funnel i will be adding baking soda in this balloon so this funnel will actually help you add baking soda very easily so i'm taking a spoon and i'm adding baking soda you all can see so it becomes quite easy to add baking soda in this balloon so i have added baking soda in this balloon now so now i have already added baking soda in this balloon and i have vinegar in this glass bottle i am going to place this balloon over this glass bottle okay like this very simply like this you all can see it now the moment i i am now going to put it like this so let's see what happens so you all can see now the balloon is growing in size it gets inflated and you all can see bubbling happen in this reaction right so bubbling happens because of the evolution of carbon dioxide gas which is getting collected inside this balloon and what is left behind is are the are the other two products formed in the reaction as you all can see in this equation sodium acetate water and carbon dioxide so sodium acetate and water are left in this bottle carbon dioxide is formed in this balloon and it gets collected in this balloon so it's a ideally a very simple experiment which you all can easily perform at home so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to collect this this gas which i have collected in this balloon i'm going to take it out from here and i'm going to see that whether this gas is carbon dioxide so if it it is carbon dioxide it is not going to support combustion now i have a burning candle here in front of me i will just see whether it actually blows off this candle yes so see you all can see that the candle blew off with by the carbon dioxide which is formed in this reaction so this proves that this gas is carbon dioxide and it does not support combustion so i hope children you all have understood this reaction it was a very very simple experiment you all can easily perform it at home thank you